Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. This team, right? I mean, they're fun as hell to watch. They can cook. They got guards that can just go make plays. Uh, every time the ball leaves uh, Reed Shepard's hands, I, I think it's going in, I, honestly. And Antonio Reeves has been... I right? swear I've never I mean, seen it's crazy. Him <laughs> it is crazy. And Reeves is so good. I think he's gone for 20 plus in seven straight games now. Um, I, I actually think the best part of, of, of this game and really over the past few weeks is the emergence of Justin Edwards. He's a real weapon mm -hmm. now, like a legitimate weapon. Like he made huge shots today. Um, you know, again, the fact that they can go in and win these road games at Auburn, which we were at, which they dominated that one. And then at a Tennessee team that I get it, they're not playing for an SEC regular season title, but you know what they are playing for? A number one overall seed. They went into mm -hmm. Bowling uh, Arena. Thompson and, Bowling. And Thompson Bowling, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I was going to say Bowling Green Arena. Uh, Thompson, we, we saw, I saw the wheels Bowling. spinning. I was like, oh, he needs yeah, help. Yeah, Someone I'm save right. him. Someone save him. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, and, and got a win in against one of the best teams in America. Now, again, like they've got so many weapons. That's the beauty. Now, what they don't have is anything up front. And, and that scares the hell out of me because I think they're going to have a game where they don't guard at all. We know that. Like for every three of these, they're going to have one stinker. And they're going to have one in the tournament, right? Out of their, If they get to the Final Four, let's say, they're going to have one game where they're just not good and they don't shoot it well from three and they probably don't guard. Can they find a way to not grind out a win? Because they can't. They can't grind out a win. But can they find a way to somehow play together, be adequate defensively, and figure it out? They've got so many dudes who can score. It's I, crazy. I would kind of argue, I would kind of argue, and Doug, tell me if you think this is this is wrong. They kind of ground out this win, right? Like Dalton Connect got his. He got his 40. They held everybody else uh, to 14 for Ziegler 45 shooting from the floor. Yeah, Ziegler was Ziegler really finished, good. He was 6 for 14 from – like, it wasn't like he was out here – okay, he finished with 17 and nine, Right, yes, he was really he good. Was good. But you got you got a, a, a great game from Dalton Connect. You got a very, yes. very good game from Zakai Ziegler. And Kentucky went on the road and they still beat Tennessee, right? Like, I, I feel like this is Kentucky's version of grinding out a win like this is what they have to do they're never going to be prime virginia right they're never going to be virginia from 2019 when they won the national lean into who you are home. dude yeah and right, get right. enough lean, lean into be who you are enough. yeah it's like it's it's like this rob everybody hates jeff right so you lean into that you don't try and like win people over like you don't have a fun personality <laughs> people don't like you so just be that guy it's okay right it does. it's the same it thing does. with can to say Hey, Doug, go F yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing with you, bro. I'm so messing with you. Oh, I'm standing there. I'm sitting there with Greenberg. I wanted to start texting you about Greenberg and wait for you to text me back. Oh, my God. You two are how like, is, is two like arch enemies. Uh, uh, he's great. Right. Anyway, Good. he's great. Tell him I said um, hello. I will, I will definitely do that. Okay. So, <laughs> Rob, as you know, I told Jeff I, on our show on Stadium, I pushed all those chips in. Now, it was a little premature on Big Z. I saw him once, and I fell in love. <laughs> we all but, did. We all like, did. Come on. I mean, right. I got it. I got it. Whatever. It, but I still love I like this team. I have no idea if they can win a national championship, how they can win a game. I think they can win a game. But they're fun, right? They just go out there and hoop. He's put in some different stuff. He has some good actions. And then, you know, Dillingham just goes and gets his. And then Shepard is just this calm, like, knows how to – way above – beyond his ears. Honestly, the guy who kind of stinks to me, and I know he played well against Arkansas, but Arkansas stinks, is I'm yet to see a game where I will go, like, I get it with DJ Wagner. I get it. You know, I just – and I know he's a freshman, and I know it's a very different form of basketball. I've said this forever. And what he, I've said this since I saw I him just, in AU ball. I just, he's a good, nice player. But you know what? He's a great player to have coming off the bench, Doug. He's great because now again, if he I mean, guards he's, it, he's up, he's got. There's some. Let's just say this: 
there's some Bronny James to DJ Wagner's rating there. You're just like, what? Oh, agreed, right? Agreed. But he was yes. bigger and stronger um, than everybody when he was rated yes, number one. Yes, that's, he's a lot like, um, oh, uh, what Muhammad? What was, what was, was the, Muhammad. he played for UCLA. Shabazz, Shabazz, Shabazz Muhammad. Muhammad. Remember Shabazz Muhammad goes to UCLA and he's like 6'5". Yeah. Like, how does he just a scoring machine in high school? You know, in high school, you're 6'5", and you're a scoring machine. It's totally different than 6'5", in college. That is anyway, uh, I really like the team. That's a hell of a win. I mean, like you said, like to win on the road when Dalton Connect has 40? Like what? Incredible. It's Incredible. crazy. And Ziegler went bad. Um, that you, If you're going to beat them, you know, you're going to have to make them guard for longer stretches of time. And you're going to have to withstand the fact that they're going to have some runs. Now they have some, they can go through some crazy shot selection. Guys can get thirsty. But I, I mean, I'm going to credit uh, credit Coach Cal. He's done a really good job with this group, and he's changed. You know, they used to just run floppy every time down the court. They got some different mm-hmm. actions they run, and he's leaned into this like, let's go, let's go play fast, let's go have fun, let's go get buckets. This is our way to win. So I'm, I'm much. I'm, I've been in on Kentucky, and there was definitely a moment there a couple weeks ago where I was like, damn, I look like the biggest dummy ever because they're not coming together. <laughs> but. Uh, but now I look smart, so I'll I'll take it for the night. Yeah, I'm 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 all the way in on Kentucky. Um, I think that they the the way that they can put up points is something that we don't see very often. The fact that Man. look, we gave we gave North Carolina a lot of credit where for having a bunch of guys on the roster that have accepted the roles that they need to play. I think we have to give Coach Cal a lot of credit, a ton of credit for accepting that. He has a new group here that is not going to be able to do the shit that he normally wants to do, right? Like, he, you're not going to be yeah. able to play like you have Carl Towns and throw the ball in the paint and dominate on the glass and and do all the stuff that you want to be able to do as Coach Cal from, like, 2015, 2016, 2017, right? And he's leaned into it. And I think that that was uh, probably an acquired taste for him a little bit based on what we've seen, like, the last five years. So um, I think you have to give him a lot of credit for the coaching job that he's done. And here's the other part, Jeff. When when things went bad, it could have gone really south really fast, right? And it did not. It, it, he was able to yeah. keep this group together. He's able to keep yeah. Rob Dillingham. Like Rob Dillingham is happy and, playing and it's and it's gone. It, and it's and look, you factor in it gone bad the past couple of years, mm-hmm. right? Right. So there's a little bit of a here we go again when it was when it was going bad. Uh, can I just 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 one thing officiating thing. Like, why are we giving John Calipari a technical foul for leaving the coaching box when he's trying to sub a guy in the game? Because, again, it's the same thing. The problem is every game it's the same shit, so these refs are tired of him being relentless all over. Because they don't shut up. They don't shut up. Who cares? And he's not alone. What do you mean, who cares? How do the refs – it's it's March – like they are all over the place. I don't think that's what it's about. I, I, I don't think that's what it's about. I think I think it's about the fact you have a couple of these guys who are on the court. So they all got a memo from their boss, like, hey, keep these guys in the freaking coaching Maybe. box. Right? But I think and so he got warned a bunch. But again, there's like some context here. He wasn't go- when he got the T, he wasn't going crazy about the game. It was he was trying to sub his guy in and and somebody was asleep it's not at, about at the wheel. The one example yeah. is what well, I'm trying no, to tell no, you. It's no. not about the I one understand. Thing. I, but I understand, but in the context of I feel like a, I feel like I have to play a marriage counselor right now with you two. Oh, um yeah. <laughs> all that happened was the rep had warned him earlier. Um, <laughs> the rep had warned him earlier, came over and said it to him again, or sponsor. turned around as Cal's yelling at the thing, and all he did was see Cal out of the box after he had warned him and lit him up, right? The rep didn't understand the context. That's my, that's my, that's my point. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah. I'm not saying that guys don't deserve technical fouls. That wasn't something worthy of. That's just having rabbit ears. And he's out of the box. Kill him. Like, dude, relax. <laughs> relax. Do your job. 100% what happened. Listen, uh, we're going to take a quick break here. Thank you for watching The Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.